You know, the custom shop is all about not only recreating history, going back in time, finding out what the magic formula was, but also improving upon it. We're using modern technology to recreate history, which is really cool. I'm Matt Kaler. I'm the head of product development at Gibson Guitars, and uh, I don't think there's a bigger Gibson guitar geek out there. This guitar and the SG Custom are you know, two guitars that debuted in 1961 originally. They replaced the single cutaway Les Paul standard and Les Paul Custom, which were not doing very well commercially at the time. It sold really, really well. Uh, people really took to this new design, and artists as well. And, and probably most notably in the early 60s, you had Sister Rosetta Tharp playing her white SG Custom, and she just made it sound amazing. And the SG was, and still is, one of the most popular Gibson guitars of all time. One thing I love about recreating these guitars is we get to tell stories that have not been told. There's a lot of speculation on who designed the SG. Was it a Ted McCarty design? Was it one of the Gibson employees in Kalamazoo? I am very confident going through the Gibson archives that there was one central person responsible for this design, and that is Larry Allers. Larry was a brilliant engineer, uh, woodshop worker at Gibson. And so Larry came up with this beautiful beveled shape, and uh, it caught on instantly. I mean, he got it right the first time. As long as Custom Shop's been doing historic reissues, we've been trying to push the limits of historical accuracy. And we applied all that same mentality finally to the SG in the 60th anniversary model. Because we've been doing this so long, you know, there are certain things that are in our wheelhouse of being able to recreate based on photos or based on colors. But now we have amazing new scanning technology. This starts out as a mesh of approximately three or four million triangles. I will go through and clean up anomalies like that to where there's too many triangles. That's why I'm half blind and crazy. My name is Darren DuBose. I'm an engineering technician and I've been here for 22 years. It's always good when, you, when you're able to reproduce something that's not just close to the original, but identical. If you put this in a rack next to the 61 SG that we scanned and you can't tell me which one is which, then we've done our job. We scanned two original 1961 SGs for this project. So there's a lot of 61 SGs that are out there and they're well documented. And so you better know what you're doing when you go to replicate it. One of the areas that we were asked to look at was the distance between the toggle switch and the pit guard. And so that was really crucial for us to replicate that as well as the bevel that is on the end. That was a really crucial area. My name is Doug Culberson. I'm one of the luthiers here at the Gibson Custom Shop. I've been here for a little over 26 years. These necks are all copies of original guitars within like 10 thousandths of what the actual guitar is. If you look at SGs over the years, the neck area moves up and down all over the place. They kind of move this around a lot to figure out where the best location was. So you'll see that we did widen up the bevel around the bottom edge. They're paying a lot of attention to this in hand sand to keep that bevel on there where it's noticeable. We really think we brought the best of all of the features you would find in an early SG to life in this model. Somebody who doesn't have the means to buy a mint condition 1961 SG standard can get that same experience, the same feel, the same tremolo experience, the same sound, and spend a fraction of that price. It's a really true to life representation. The custom shop folks knocked it out of the park. It's our 60th anniversary tribute to the SG. You can find them at gibson.com. They'll be available at custom shop throughout this year. I just could not be more proud of the work that everyone put into this guitar.